Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Pioneer RD210. It's a great little couples model, and it has some great sleeping options as well, in case you have little ones, friends, or family that want to come stay with you. Let's start right over here on the kitchen. So one of the things I really like about this floor plan is even though this is a relatively smaller travel trailer, they give you full-size appliances here. So you'll notice that you have the double bowl sink, which is great. Nice deep bowls on here as well, so they're very usable. Plus you have the high-rise modern pull-out faucet. So it's nice and streamlined, it looks great, and it's super functional. It makes washing and rinsing dishes really easy, or if you need to, you know, like fill up a bowl or a pitcher or something on the countertop, you can do that too. Right over next to that, you have your three burner cooktop. Notice how it is recessed with a glass cover though. That way it allows you to utilize this as prep space. When you wanna cook, you simply fold the glass up and back, which then doubles as a backsplash, and that opens up your three burner cooktop, the front one there being high output. Right underneath is your oven in case you wanna do some baking. And then right over here, no kitchen is complete without some drawers, and you will notice you have three full extension ball bearing drawers there, which are perfect for your silverware and other utensils. And then right here you have a small little storage area there as well, which is a good spot for some of your cleaning chemicals. Right up top here, you have good pantry space. Over next to that, a little cubby hole up here above the microwave, and then the microwave itself with a hood and fan directly beneath that. As we move back a little bit further here, you get into the main living area. And the thing I like about this one is that it really creates good entertainment space. You can, you know, have someone in the dinette, have great conversation with people right here on the sofa. And plus, both of these convert into different beds. So again, you can sleep a decent amount of people in here. You'll see you have storage right here going across. Now, I myself would probably use this for either plates or extra food like... Uh, you know, snacks, chips, things like that. But again, when it's yours, you can put whatever you'd like in there. Moving over a little bit further, you see you have a couple USB ports there. You also have your signal booster as well as satellite hookup for a TV. You'll see electrical outlet right here in this corner with a cutout, so you have a spot in which you can put the TV. And then you have the digital media receiver right down below here. This one does control the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside. Some cool looking speakers, we'll see that when we go out there. And that unit is also Bluetooth capable. Underneath that, you have an LED light here helping to brighten up the, uh, the space while you're sitting here at the table. Windows all the way around. You can see all the windows here, especially this big one in the back, lets a ton of natural light into this RV during the day. The dinette here is a great spot to sit and hang out. You can have a meal here, play a game of cards. And again, if you need to convert it into a bed, you simply remove the legs here, drop the table down, the back cushions sit on top, and that will create your sleeping space. Right across the way is a jackknife sofa. And because it is a jackknife, this lifts up and drops right down into an additional bed. You'll also see right over here, they left some space again for additional storage course the window there LED light here and across the way more storage yet so even though it's not a huge camper you do have good storage options here now speaking of storage I love the fact they're able to fit in a pantry take a look at this open this up you have great pantry space running through here removable shelves so if you have taller items like boxes of cereal or something you want to put in here you can take those out but you, they do give you the option of leaving them in there too. So that way, again, you have lots of food storage. Cubby hole up above the refrigerator, uh, your Dometic fridge freezer combo right here. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And as you can see, you have plenty of room in there. Right up above me, I do want to point out, you have LED lights throughout the entire ceiling here as well, which are great because they use about a tenth of the power as your standard incandescent lights, and they don't put out near the heat. And then directly above me here is an AC. So if uh, you, know, you want to cool it down in here, it's a really hot day, the windows just aren't cutting it, you can turn this on. The controls for it are located right there. Right over here is your bathroom. You see the foot flush lever toilet there. And just to give you an idea, I'll take a seat here. You can see you do have sufficient leg room. I'm pretty wide in the shoulders. And what you'll also notice is they cut the counter uh, top back right here to allow for that extra room. So I have plenty of room. 
You'll notice a cubby hole here, so a little bit of extra storage there. Maybe some, you're gonna put some toilet paper in there, some magazines, whatever. Right underneath, tiny bit of storage there too. Again, you know, it's, it's not a whole lot, but you know, I might be able to sneak a, an item or two in there. You have the sink top here, uh, decent countertop space up top. So you can put, you know, like a toothbrush holder or a curling iron, hair dryer, something like that. You can set it down. Electrical outlet there. Your tank monitoring panel is right here. So you can monitor your tanks as well as your battery. Water pump. Also notice your water heater. It is a DSI water heater, but note that you can run it off LP or electric. And you can actually turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery, assuming of course that you have shore power. Right up here uh, is your little hand towel ring, so it, make it makes it nice and easy to dry your hands off. Your mirrored medicine cabinet there, LED light up top, you see the vent fan there as well. And then over here to this side is the tub shower. Uh, tub showers are great, you know, if you have little ones that come, you can give them a bath still. Plus it helps the water stay in the tub, you know, it's not dumping all over like oftentimes it does in your normal shower when you have a curtain, but this does a good job. You'll also see shelves along both sides and the hand wand there as well. As we step up into the bedroom here, you see you have a curtain you can close off in case you have additional guests staying. It gives you some added privacy. Otherwise, it's nice and open, giving you that open feel in this floor plan. Queen bed right here in the center with big nightstands on both sides. You'll see an electrical outlet on both sides as well, so that way you can charge cell phones. Or if you have a CPAP machine, you can put that on either side of the bed too. Right up above that, you have mirrored wardrobe there. You'll see you have a hanging rod, so you can hang some clothes up on both sides of the bed. You have storage going across, whoop, going across the top here. And then you'll also notice you have an LED light there underneath in case you want to read a book. If you like to watch TV, that's not an issue. You will see your TV connections are right up there on the wall. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the Pioneer RD210. Starting off right up front, folks, this sure makes life easy on you and hooking up or disconnecting to your tow vehicle with the power tongue jack. You literally just touch a button that will raise and lower the tongue for you so you don't have to crank, you know, sit there and crank on it and wear out your arm. You'll also see with the flip of a switch, you have some light there as well in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Directly behind that's your uh, two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. Getting in there is easy. Just undo the two thumb screws, lift the door and you are in. And then behind that, yet a little bit further, are your rails for your battery. One of the things you'll see down here, it's kind of tough to see on film, but you can see this right here. That actually goes the entire length of the RV, and that's because it has a fully enclosed underbelly. So that should help keep some of the, the mice and stuff from getting in there. And it'll also help keep a lot of the road grime off the bottom of the RV while you're traveling. You'll see the diamond plating right here. That'll help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris and stuff that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around to the side, you'll notice the, uh, the door here does have a covered hinge, so that way you don't have to worry about that rusting out on you. And if we take a look inside, you'll see it is a nice full pass through. You'll see the door on the other side is the same size. It is big and open, so you can fit some larger items in there. And right up here, it's kind of tucked away in the corner, you see the controls for your power stabilizer jacks. That's right, not only do you have power tongue jack, you also have power stabilizer jacks. One of the controls will control the two front ones, the other one, the two rear ones. Speaking of power, folks, this thing has power everything. You have a power awning on here too. Touch a button, that rolls out. Same thing to go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there and a LED light strip in the barrel of the awning itself. It is a really cool LED light though. Instead of just being one standard color, you do have a remote and you can change the colors. You can make it purple, red, uh, you know, white, whatever you want. You can make it flash, do all sorts of cool things. Just kind of a nice little party light that they have included as a standard on here. Speaking of lights, you'll also see you have lights in the speakers. Those light up, give it a great look. And then take a look underneath as well, folks. You will see that the, there's light down beneath. So uh, not only does that look really nice at night, but it also helps you find your RV, you know, if you're walking through the RV park. And more importantly, it lights up your steps. So that way, if it is nighttime and you don't have any other lights on, as long as the underlighting is on, you can safely enter and exit the RV here. Speaking of three fold out steps with the foldable grab handle, really make entering and exiting the Pioneer quite simple. Uh, those speakers I told you about that light up, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can sit right here underneath the awning and be able to control the speakers via cell phone or any other Bluetooth capable device. One of the things you will notice is you don't have any vents on this side, folks. If you see that, 
So, you know, when you roll this awning out, this is all great usable camp space. And for me, that's a big deal. You know, I don't like having like a furnace blowing hot air on me or a uh, refrigerator, something like that. So uh, I like the fact that you don't have any vents here. If you do want to watch TV, that's not an issue either. Right here, your TV hookups, electrical outlet, your cable outlet right there. Hook those up. You can set up a little table or whatever and be able to watch TV out here. Right down underneath, you will see the propane quick connect. If you'd like to do some grilling while you're outside, that is the place to do it. Put your grill here, hook up to that. That way you're feeding off the two 20-pound propane tanks up front instead of having to bring the little green ones with you. Right on the back here, you see you have this cargo hauler. I really like this, folks. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but if you attach something to the bumper of your RV, uh, for most manufacturers, that will void the warranty. But becomes, because this comes from the manufacturer itself, obviously your warranty will still be intact here. But this is super useful. When you drop this down, you can you know, carry wood, you can put totes on here, you can put extra coolers on here. It's just great for hauling around extra items. You'll also notice this bracket, so you can mount a spare tire on here if you so choose. Uh, it just really is handy that that comes on there. Right up top, you will see backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having it prepped will make it a lot simpler to install, which means it will save you money on labor. Uh, right back here, you will see your cable inlet. And when we come around on the off door side, you will notice your 30 amp power cord is right here. That just uh, tucks away nice and easy when you're done. Just put it right back in there, close the door and you're good. Your city water inlet here, outside shower with both hot and cold water access is right there. And then up a little bit further here, you have your fresh water fill. In case you're going somewhere you don't have city water, you'll obviously want to fill your fresh water tanks. And directly beneath that is a black tank flush. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Pioneer RD210. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.